Hi everyone, I'm coming to you from Lincoln, Nebraska this time, uh, although it seems more like Venice, Italy because uh, we got hit with a very large storm a couple days ago and the whole place is flooded so much so that uh, a lot of the streets are covered with rain and people are even taking their boats out on their or canoes out on the streets and you know sailing down that way. We need gondolas now. Um, coming to you from one of the only basements that uh, was not flooded. Somehow we uh, escaped that. There were a lot of tornadoes. I was inside the basement uh, or inside of the um, bathroom hiding for the first time since I was a kid. So it's been rather interesting. Anyway, I'm actually not ready for my review of the Ables quite yet. I'm about a third of the way through. Um, but since I'm in this uh, in this town at this point and where I do a lot of my uh, nonfiction writing, a lot of my nonfiction research, for, certainly for the last three books, I thought I'd sort of show you around and sort of tell you about, a little bit about uh, what I do in terms of um, researching for my books. But anyway, first a quick tour of uh, the library that we have here. My family's always had this idea of a book worth uh, reading is a book worth owning. And uh, you can see it's, there's, it's kind of uh, led to an addiction. We have kind of a cool collection of uh, classics and uh, philosophers. Uh, original work of Robert E. Lee, which I didn't even realize until uh, we had had it for a while. Um, Encyclopedia Britannica, which is kind of useless now, but cool to have as a collector's item. Uh, some more books over there. And then my uh, writing session, or writing, you know, uh, uh, place. Uh, at the moment, I don't really have any research in there. It's just a copy of Pro Bono that is going to John Waters and uh, uh, my sustenance whenever, whenever I'm in town of Amigos. Uh, but yeah, here's where I keep a lot of my, uh, usually keep a lot of my research. This particular time, since I'm not actually writing, um, uh, I it, mostly have had uh, things that, materials for going on my promotional tour. Um, these are of course Two Gun and you know Great Heist, and then I, some books I got from a couple people. I'll be doing reviews on them. Uh, if any of you read Pro Bono, this was uh, the uh, microfilm of the uh, of the trials, a tape from a documentary that was done on it, and a couple of books from Pro Bono. Then a lot of the material for The Great Heist is, you know, in there. Um, and yeah, Two Gun material is actually in Burbank because I was still working on that. But we also had, uh, you know, some more books, of course you need. Back there's where I sleep. More books, more books. Uh, and you know, occasionally that I would use those because, um, let's say that I would come upon something where it was like, oh, I need a little bit more, you know, information on this or that. Um, and I'd remember if my dad had it in his library. In fact, we have more books upstairs, so I could go through some of those. Of course, it's not every single time. In fact, most of the research was with other materials. But like, for instance, with a two-gun heart, I needed to fill in a little bit of information about um, General Pershing. I knew he had a book on General Pershing, so I, you know, came out here, found one of those, you know, etc. That's, uh, in fact, that's the way that I go through, um, uh, what do you call it, through nonfiction books, uh, very different from the way I write fiction books. Um, to real quick just summarize uh, fiction books, I'm actually going to do a whole special on either of those, you know, but just as a quick note, because it's in my view that uh, the reason why the couch is sort of disheveled like that, the night that the gigantic storm took place, I had other things I was supposed to do, but I just went, you know what? This is a good night to kind of get in the mood for some writing. It was storming out, there was lightning, thunder, tornadoes. I came out of the bathroom where I was hiding when the tornado sirens went off, and I went, you know, this is the perfect night to, uh, to come up with something. So I didn't write anything. I didn't sit down and write, but it was, uh, I oftentimes say the difference between writing nonfiction and fiction is fiction is like this. Nonfiction is like this. You're reading your, you're reading your book or you're getting a text. Um, and so, you know, when I, was, when I was writing fiction, when I was coming up with this, the latest uh, Relic Worlds uh, short story, uh, which is going to be about a ghost ship, I just laid back and there was the thunder outside, the rain and all that, and it just helped me get in the mood and I let my mind relax and I knew what the story was and I just kind of generated it. Once I had it, I went and I wrote it down. For nonfiction, uh, what I do is I, I, first, I just generally, genuine, uh, generally figure out what the story is. I you know, do some interviews, some, get some general information, read up on it, just get the overall view of what the story is without going into chapters. And as I do, I put my make folders in my computer and each one has a different part of the topic. So if like Two Gun Heart, there'd be his BIA days and then there'd be his prohibition days and then there'd be stuff about Al at this particular time and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera, the bank robbery would be a, a folder. And I just do that uh, to organize my notes as I go through them, and by the time I'm done getting all these notes and just grabbing them and putting them in there, I've got several chapters because the folders wind up becoming the chapters. That's sort of generally how I create those chapters, and I end up 
when I write a certain chapter, I can just focus on that one chapter and all the information that's in that folder and get all that. Rather than being flooded with all the information, I can just focus on that one folder and all the information in there, and that becomes a chapter. Now, sometimes that alters, but that's the general uh, way that I at least start to do it. Um, anyway, so that's that's me here in Lincoln. That's uh, you know, that's basically my life when I'm here. I live in this basement. Um, and uh, you know, next time you see me, I'll be in Burbank. I'll probably be reviewing the Ables at that point. It's I'll, I'll give you a preview. It's really it's neat. <laughs> it's a fun book. Uh, so that being said, read more uh, independent books, and I will see you in a few weeks.